Yeah, it's a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people. But you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch uh, post that I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it bring people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences and then when they grow older they oh you never gave me nothing at 30 something man people could go back and look you've been shining for a long time son all you got to do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me the saddest thing about this this is what the people want to see they want to see destruction so if you destroy me what are you going to do for the rest of the family are you going to take care you told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from nothing. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid ten dollars, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff poking and having fun. Y'all can. But I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now. But I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying. and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep, keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever, that's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace.